I did a lot of cleaning this morning and the last few days. Dishwasher, sink, laundry, and most of the garbage is gone. Um, and speaking of cleaning up, I still have to clean up the summer, or not summer eight, anniversary eight buffs. There are like five more servants I haven't covered, even though it's like two months later. Uh, three three or four months actually um yeah this sh shit happens and a while ago i made a new player guide and mondricardo was one of the like ride single target riders i recommended um because he was arts single target and it was a good one he did have a massive flaw in his second skill immediately killing himself um yeah that's and my advice to that was just don't press that skill, even though it's a big steroid, only pop it if you like with the MP. But now they buffed it. They buffed that weakness of his and actually made it not a, like that much of a detriment. We'll get uh, into that in a second. And just a heads up, there's going to be two uploads today. Uh, and probably the up load on wednesday because i don't think i'll be able to put out a video uh for that new servant that day uh it's like those live streams when they're like that late always kind of push it for me for how much i can actually like get recorded and actually understand the kit before i have to go to work so we got anastasia kiyohime uh abigail and Spertoria along with my ricardo let's get started Magikardo, base attack, HP. I'm not going to talk about this just because they're it's a three star. You can't expect miracles. You can't expect them to actually compete with five stars, no matter how much you grail them. It's just three star stats. Their damage like on the chart is comparable, though, to them, like especially because they're MP5. So I wouldn't worry too much about attack. Just know if you can boost up his base attack through bows, go for it. CE, go for it. He needs it. We'll make him hit a lot harder. And then if you grail him, I'm not going to say he's going to like miraculously outperform other units because he's not. Like, if you have Ryder Murasaki, like, you, you shouldn't even be trying to invest in this guy. Despite how good he is, like, Ryder Murasaki is just like, even at MP1, is going to like smack the shit out of this guy in terms of uh, performance. Yeah, keep a friend at this ascension. He's looking pretty he's looking pretty cool. Star weight surgeon, normal rider numbers, MP charge healthy at 8.86. This accounts like kind of remind you of like a year one servant, but honestly, like it's not the worst thing for him, specifically because he's arts. If he was like a quick or buster servant, I would have more issues with these hit counts. But it, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt because he's a one star and like there's other competition is Ushi Wakamaru and um yeah no she she's not looking that good either she is held back by her kick counts as well he is a summer servant though so on points during the summer you guys know this already just like Asclepius uh for any kind like for bond points he will always get it regardless of what costume but if you need to buff like a summer mode servant uh say um summer Ruzetian or even ibuki you are going to need them in their summer costume you can't like just bring the servant and get the buffs they have to be if they are a male servant they have to be in their swimsuit they have to be that's how this buff type works it's the same way with uh animal characteristics like the bunny ears if they want to get buffed by Koi and Dark, they need to be wearing the bunny suit. First skill, just solid, generic, but really, really good. Uh, it is a charisma, 20%, but it is also 30% defense for himself. On an art servant, that's pretty good, especially because if you want to run him with Tomomo you can and have pretty much 100% uptime 
if you don't have other options that is an option i i'm not saying that's the best option though take that how you will but this is a solid skill a little boring but it's it's good it's not a dead skill he probably needed this because before the this kind of was a dead skill because as if you were 50 percent hp you would get a 50 percent attack buff 100 percent crit buff and when you hit someone you would remove their defensive buffs but not before damage the issue was he would immediately immediately kill himself and they even had a note here that even if you had guts you could save him but if you attacked you were he was gonna die again that was his main issue like one he got a hero moment and then he died They did buff this. So now instead of it activating on his hit, it happens at the end of the turn. This is massive for him. It means he actually can take advantage of this crit buff because before you had to choose between doing this on an MP or doing this on a face card. A face card would get both of these benefits, but the MP is the MP. You had to make the choice. But again, you were yeeting off defensive buffs, so that was kind of like the thing about it. Like, if you needed to do it, like you would like set up for a really massive hit. And that's why his utility was good, because when he was about to die, you just hit him, you hit the enemy with a face card, he's got he would die anyway. And then you bring in a new servant. Similar to what like you would do with like Habitron. Except this one was conditional. Now you can actually do damage, and then he pieces out. Uh, needless to say, if you have a full crit chain, you are going to do a lot of damage. If you do a mighty chain, now with your MP, you will do even more damage. This skill buff like literally makes it so like un unlike before, where he kind of had like two skill like two skills and then a dead one unless a conditional skill i should say uh because this wasn't a dead skill it was just conditional like he did he did not have an actual dead skill like melison's third skill if you need her to be in a, a single target arts lancer is a dead skill because then you can't use her as a single target lit lancer third skill Quick performance up 20%, arts up 20%, and a taunt for one turn. This taunt is to help you get down to 50% HP. And you'll be able to tank a little more damage because of the defense on this skill. Like, it will help you get set up for it, but you shouldn't... Just be careful about this. Because you do need this arts and quick steroid. He does need it. Mm. Yeah, I do think he could use a buff and he gets guts here. I think that would actually like. And it could be like a. It, like we've seen some like short guts too. Like I know guts is usually like six or seven turns, but we have seen like four turn guts with Tyra. Uh, I think like making. Like, I definitely think it should only be a 1 HP Guts, though. It, it should not be a 2K or anything. It should be 1 HP. That way, if he dies, or if the Guts... Like, you can use the Taunt to proc the Guts, and then you can set up for this. Instead of using the Guts to try to mitigate this. And again, it even notes this here that you cannot kill yourself anymore. Uh, it will proc guts, but you can't kill yourself like multiple times in a turn. Like I bet Hirei wishes he could to like really ramp up his 
MP damage. Although there is ways to like force that. Passives, magic resist 15%, debuff resistance, riding B, quick performance up 8%. Since he's running the double quick deck or double quick double arts, that is helpful. His quick cards aren't terrible. They got three hits on them, but he is a rider. Uh, he's not gonna be jetting that many stars, but I mean, he's not a berserker or an Avenger. So he's still gonna gen some stars, but like, when you think star gen, you think assassin, or foreigner, or pretender. You're not really thinking rider. Ten skills. He is a welfare. You will be able to unlock all of these. And wait, why did the... wait? Why does he have anti saber? Wait, so if we get Rushiro, is he going to be a saber? Or no, no, wait, am I getting the legend mixed up? I thought Bronamonte, um, legend intersected Manjicardo. Like he was like someone that showed up in the legend. I, I don't know. Um, I, I'm going to have to get back to you on this. Like, I know for a fact he wouldn't have anti-lancer because, uh, he doesn't have beef with Hector. Like he did like they lived in different time periods. So it wouldn't make sense for him to have an anti-lancer. Uh yeah, I'm I'm just blanking on why he has anti-saber right now. Uh do you need these? Um you should probably level the extra attack. It will make it like better for him to be like a solo deep like not solo DPS, uh just a DPS if you level this, because he does have a four hit extra. And his base stats aren't bad. Uh, they're not amazing. Like, these aren't super high numbers, and it's not going to do that much damage, but, I mean, the extra attack upgrade does up the damage a lot. It it upgrades it way more than you think. And just mana loading is just nice nice to have on an art sermon. If you get the coins, get this, but, like, it's not a high priority. MP. Damage to one enemy, four hits, single target arts. He gives himself an attack down, but then he buffs all his other cards by a higher amount. It's kind of the reason why it's like you can level his attack, but like if you're MPing, it's always going to go down uh, unless you can cleanse it off, meaning like you put Castoria after, which isn't a terrible idea, but that does mean you have to like sacrifice having a mighty chain or it's a brave chain in general in order to cleanse this off. It is only one turn, so you can't like ramp it down, but it does uh, affect his output. I, if they were to buff a skill, I think the MP definitely should get a buff uh, just to get rid of that like the merit. Cause it's not, it's why it's, mm, it, it's, it's anti-fun. It's anti-fun. <clears throat> Which, I mean, like, I get. I get it. If he does have a massive attack buff. So, again, if you do, like, give him foes, lure him. Uh, or not lure. Give him foes, get him, grail him. He'll do more damage. And it will always scale good because of this. But just... Remember, the MP is always going to have a 10% down. So this is really 40% attack up, not 50. Because uh, attack buffs are additive, not multiplicative. So this it is straight up 50 minus 10. But again, that is only when you pop the skill. 44k compared to single targets is average damage. Uh, Mabe has a buffed MP. Which, I mean, that is a good, that's a good, like, um, benchmark. He is, his, uh, MP5 damage is comparable, like, without his 50% buff, is comparable to a 5-star with a buffed MP. Unfortunately, Mabe is, like, one of the worst examples, because she actually doesn't have any... Hold up, let me, let me stop myself from, uh, misspeaking. But I'm, like, 90% sure Mabe does not have any offensive buffs in her kit. I feel she's more support and like her damage is much heavy. Uh, I'm misspelling maybe. 
much more heavily tied to like buffs uh yeah 20 percent attack is her only buff and then a defense down wait no the defense sounds non-conditional uh actually no that is still a good comparison attack buff plus defense down no that is a good comparison for him because he's getting his normal buffs is just mp5 20 percent attack so it evens out and then a card buff yeah no that evens that does make sense why especially with this attack down he would literally be out damaging a five star in normal conditions if he didn't have this attack down there there is no way uh may actually got that buff specifically for this now nah, hold, hold up now i'm actually curious there's uh, there's no way she got the buff around lost spell five there is no way she actually got an mp buff because of a three star This has to be an old buff. Yeah, no, I know. I am not tripping. Like, this was an old buff. Okay. Okay. Sorry, just had to, like, had to double check to make sure you guys were, I'm giving you, like, actual factual information and not, like, just hyperbole. Uh, all right, Ascension Mats. They're, they're annoying, but not terrible. Like you can farm this like probably in a week and be good, but you might just have these mats lying around. It's just having an excessive amount is gonna be the issue. Uh, leveling is going to be a pain for skills. The chains are, the are one of the banes of my existence and they spread out his ascension mats on his uh, skills and ascensions or appends. She needs bells, why? Why does he need bells? He's lost about five. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Why, why do they do this? Why couldn't they give him like the ley lines? That would have made more sense. I think was, I think DW just threw this at us. Just, just say, fuck you. That is a fuck you. His Bonsi actually pretty interesting. When he dies, he gives it a, a charisma and a defense buff for three turns. That is a solid, like. That's like. I don't know if that's better or worse than George. Wait. Wait, what's. Uh, isn't George like an interval? It is comparable to George's MP. So if you, if you bond your, oh, I gotta move my curtains. Uh, one second. Sorry, some glare. Um, yeah. If you do an esports with George and uh, Mandricardo, you are going to like whoever you're soloing with is not taking damage for three turns. Like flat out, because you have a thousand damage cut and thirty percent defense. Mm. They're not taking damage. You have three, basically three free turns for you to set up for anything you need for your solo. Is he's is Mandricardo super good for esports? Not particularly, but remember he does have this skill too. And if he's level one, he's like it doesn't matter how high his defense is, he's still dying. He's got the taunt too. Now I actually don't want. Now I don't want him to have this. Oh, now. Yeah, now I don't want him to have a guts. Because unlike George, it's like George has his guts on a separate skill than his taunt. They can't buff this skill again. Put and putting a, ta a 
guts on this skill is just gonna like make it not good for esports because he's gonna stay alive for an extra turn and like kind of screw up that synergy and then this skill as a taunt you really don't want to put the guts because then he really won't die there won't be an option mm. It, like this is actually a more impressive bond scene than i i originally thought it would be like this like if you are into doing like min turn stuff like you should probably bond manjagardo just to like see if he, he can fit in and yeah see if he can fit into any of your setups because again he basically provides 40 percent attack and 60 percent defense for three turns for your solo servant like if you like truly treat that level one like an esport oh wait level one's not gonna have a taunt my, my point still stands you'd still want this like you could generally like he's he's not gonna need the taunt that if you're fighting someone a aoe he's not gonna need the taunt but if you are fighting that's why you have that's why you keep two copies so that like you have options for that uh yeah magicardo solid three star i really like this guy he's a good character uh and he performs fairly well for a three star if you don't have any single target riders um although at this point you do because of evocation uh and right now on na you have cinderelli who is the one of the best or like one of the best single target riders, not even four stars, not even well players, one of the best single target riders in the game. Uh, and like, all, like debatably, he's like one of the strongest well players, pure, like period, even for fighting like type neutral. Like she has niches that you can use for that. Mandricardo, just solid. He's arts, he's easy to use. You don't need to wait for a certain time. You don't need to farm up mats. You just gotta summon him from the front point, gotcha. Easier said than done, but he is very accessible. All right, that's it for Mandricardo. I will see you guys in the next video later today. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.